Get ready for some fun hacks and techniques in today's mink video. Look how gorgeous. I have been busting at the seams ever since I got my hands on this. I have been wanting to share this with you all. The hot pink mink is finally here. It is absolutely gorgeous in every way possible. It still has your fun override switch on the back. If anything gets jammed in your machine, you can use that. And it's got your on off switch in the back. It comes with all the accessories that your normal mink machine would come in. But this color is just absolutely absolutely stunning. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so and go back through all the fun hacks and techniques because you are going to just love those and they're going to help you so much. I love using hammer mill cardstock and that'll be linked in the description below this video for all of my card bases and all of my layers. So the layer that I have for my card base is just cut a tiny bit smaller that you can see and now I just need my card layer. And for this hack, you can use any of your gorgeous stencils or anything that can be used as a stencil, even some of your dies. The option right here is just how I hang up my stencils in my craft room. But I'm going to lay my piece of paper, my card layer underneath, and I'm just gonna line it up wherever I want to draw out my pattern. Once I have my layer underneath where I want it, I'm just going to tack this down with a little bit of pixie tape just to hold it in place. And I'm just taking my pencil and tracing the parts of the stencil that I want to be on my card. And if your stencil is super intricate, it might be a little bit harder to do this. So I recommend having a stencil that the lines are no smaller than this, just so you can really get in there with your pencil and trace everything that you want. But this is just such a pretty technique once this is done. And it's super easy to make cards like this. And you can already see how my design is coming together. That just looks absolutely gorgeous. And I do apologize for being missing in action for a while. As you can see, I have poison ivy on both of my wrists and other parts of my body that has been driving me crazy. And not only that, my craft room ceiling was leaking. We got that fixed. So thank you to everyone that sent messages and prayers and love. I really super appreciate all of you. But yeah, the poison ivy has been a rough go on me and it still itches really bad, but I hope that it is healing up soon and this will be gone. Once I have everything traced how I want it, I'm gonna pull this out and this is what I'm left with. So pretty. And all of these are my pencil lines and the next step is just so much fun. These are the glaze pens and I'm going to use the black one just so it shows up on camera really well. But these are meant for like coloring in designs. Beautiful for card making. I absolutely love these. But I learned about this hack by Michelle from Pink and Main and this I did some experiments on my own and this is just so much fun to do. So I come up with my own little ways to use these. Any of these colors will work but I am using the more black color and I'm gonna trace this whole design. And the reason why you want to trace your design with pencil first is because if you try to take this pen, it's kind of like really watery. And if you take it directly to your stencil, it will make a really yucky mess underneath of your stencil because the pen is so watery. So don't do that. <laughs> Just draw out any design that you want first and then go around and trace the whole thing. And for a little section like this, if you want to color in, you totally can do that. You don't even have to leave it hollow like I am these pieces up here. When you're doing this, don't get your hand in the ink and smudge it. That's the only thing that you really have to be careful with. This is a super perfect idea for any of those last minute Mother's Day cards or 
any other fun like birthday cards or events that you want to do this is just super simple and a really cute fun idea also there's some super fun stuff coming up on this friday Pink and Main is actually doing a YouTube Instagram hop and you're going to want to be a part of that. Um, I am going to be a part of it and I'm going to be doing a video on my YouTube channel and I'm so excited to be sharing that with you. So that's coming Friday morning around nine o'clock or so. So I will be posting all of that information on my community post on my channel where you can find all the good stuff on that. You're going to definitely want to be a part of that hop. Once the design is completed, this is what it's gonna look like. This is what I love about these pens. You can see how it's like raised. If you wanna use any of the colored pens and add some fun like colored details, like on a birthday card, you could color in a balloon. This just gives some really fun detail to a card. So I'm gonna set this aside, let it dry. This does not take very long to dry at all, but I just wanna make sure it's good and perfectly dry so I'm going to set this aside for now. I have a scrap piece of cardstock and I'm going to place that into my misty just right here and then I'm going to use the have a wonderful day stamp and I'm going to use this for my mom's Mother's Day card. So I'm going to place this right in here and I am going to stamp this out with my favorite ink. So this is the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in the color Obsidian. It comes in a larger ink pad or a smaller one, but I'm going to be using the smaller cube today. So I'm just going to pick this up and stamp out my sentiment. And I'm going to stamp my image. And once I have it fully stamped out, look how beautiful and crisp that ink is. So this time I'm going to be using the pink colored pen just so that I can tell where I'm applying the color. So now this word wonderful is very thick so I'm just going to go through and add some details and this will be a little bit hard for you to see but I'm just going to go through and add some little lines and dots just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Up in the very corners I'm just going to add a little bit of dots just some extra detail to the card. And a few more down here. And look how cute. I'm just gonna set this off to the side to dry. Turn on the mink machine and I am gonna power it on and push it all the way over to five because that just seems to be the setting that I like to personally leave it on to use it all the time. If that's too much for you, just use a different setting. And I have the hot pink foil, which is quite fitting for the hot pink mink. And I am going to cut a sheet of this to fit over top of my card layer. I'm going to just lay this on top. And stick this inside my folder. Just like that. And just press down. And now I'm going to just run this through my mink machine. If you ever get your folders in here crooked and you see that it's going to bend it, shut the machine off and use this override button and pull it directly back out of the machine and it saves you. It's saved me a ton of times that it's got the override on it. You, you will thank me <laughs> because I've had to use it several times. All right, and then you just want to let that cool before 
lifting it all out. I'm just going to lift this out. And just let it cool just a little bit. And now I'm just going to peel this all back. <laughs> Look how pretty. This is just so stunning and so gorgeous. I'm so excited. And then these pieces can be used for later, but this is going to be a Friday video to show you how to use the waste. So stay tuned for that. Now I have some of the beautiful gold stars foil. And I'm just going to cut a piece of this to size. I'm going to bring in my sentiment and just cut along just like this. I want it to cover the whole thing. These foils are just so easy and so fun to play with and your cards will just look amazing with that little touch of foil. So I'm going to open back up my folder, lay that in there and carefully place this over top just like so. And just make sure the whole design is covered and I'm going to run that through the machine. Let it cool down a little bit and do its thing. Just carefully take it out. And then I just let it cool a little bit longer just to be on the safe side. And then when it's nice and cool, I'm just going to peel this back. And look how pretty. You can see just where I added the lines on the lettering. And it just gives a beautiful effect to the word wonderful. It's really hard to show up foil on camera, but this is so beautiful in person. I'm gonna shut my mink back off and let that cool down. And I'm just hitting the edges a little bit with this passionate pink. This is one of Gina K's just absolute beautiful, stunning pink colors. Like the inks are just absolutely gorgeous. I'm just hitting it around the edges just a little bit to give it that beautiful pop of pink. And then I'm gently tapping off the excess ink once I dab it onto the ink pad. Just tap off that excess ink and then with a light touch just go around the edge of the card because I want the actual sentiment edge to be a lot darker and I want this to be very faded. Just a very faded, passionate pink. So pretty. I just used my foam on a roll and put foam adhesive on the back of my sentiment and I'm going to apply that to my card. It's going to add glue to the back of my layer. and stick it down to my card base. This is such a fun way to add some bling and some fancy shine to your cards. This raised, I mean the gel is like very raised so it feels embossed. It's a very cool look 
and with the thicker sentiments just adding that touch and those lines and that detail it just really adds some shimmer and beauty to your sentiments so i hope you really enjoyed this card i can't wait to give it to my mom for mother's day and if you haven't already subscribed please do so and check out my other hack videos on my channel and i will catch you friday in that hot video